Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful sunny morning here at the house. It's 92 degrees and I think it should warm up even more. For the last few hours I've been doing a full detail on all of the vehicles, both the supercars and the pickup trucks. I just came inside here to watch a few YouTube videos. Let's grab the keys to a few of the vehicles and head outside. Now today I really want to put uh, the new wheels on the Bronco and take the top off. I'm a big fan of the, those types of vehicles where the roof comes off and I think that would be a pretty cool thing. But before we do that, take a look here at the F-250 Tremor. This blue metallic stands out fully detailed and I will have to say that's just a passion of mine something I really do enjoy is washing the vehicles making them look even better nice and clean Let's get the old Ford Bronco started up here. Now, I really don't want to be taking this out too far away from the house. I do want to do a full oil change here on it and just kind of want to look everything over again uh, before we kind of take it far. But I think we might add a trailer hitch to this as well. I think that would be pretty cool to even uh, tell a few of the trailers. But I think this should be good. We have a little bit of shade uh, from the house and we'll get out the wrenches and change the tires. The first thing we'll be doing here is removing the hard top. I really do like it here. Hopefully we could remove those doors even. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. And I think we'll go with a winch. Uh, you guys can see $800 for that. That is going to be a nice upgrade. And we'll get the uh, rear hitch as well. And finally, we'll get some new wheels here for it. Really do like those. Wow, uh, those look pretty nice. And I, I kind of like the ones that came on it. But I think we'll change it up there. And finally, I do want it to have the rock crawler suspension. About an hour later, everything is complete. We have the winch up front here, which really makes the front end look even better. Kind of finishes it off. Uh, these new wheels and tires give it a little bit of a bigger lift as well. And this thing looks awesome here. And uh, we can uh, uh, tow trailers, even move some around here in the yard. And you guys can see up top there, we did move the spare tire, which will help out with handling. And I really do wish we could take these doors off. I'm a big fan of Jeeps and uh, the new Fort Bronco. And this thing looks awesome. Imagine that, guys driving down the road and uh, having this now it looks like this does have a full roll cage as well and kind of race seats uh, that is pretty neat here now I don't think we'll put it up on the lift today since I actually have to change the uh, max height of the lift so that uh, we don't kind of go right through the ceiling there but we'll put this back here in the garage and there's uh, quite a few things I really want to do here we do have a new trailer tent on the way uh, that new trailer we picked up yesterday I really don't want it out in the uh, weather and I think just putting it in a uh, four or five hundred dollars tent is good for us here so let's kind of go around back and I think we'll do that this trailer we picked up really do like this a lot of you guys liked it as well and I thought it was a pretty good deal so what we'll do is we'll probably just put the trailer tent facing that way and then I think uh, we'll use one of the trucks to a little bit of a change of plans. I think it will be better off fitting right here that way it's right next to the other trailer and we don't have to back all the way around I originally wanted to place it back here, but I kind of thought after all of it, it would be just a little too tricky to kind of uh, navigate the trailer back there, and this will be much easier here for us. Now, we'll probably only use this uh, maybe for a month because uh, we will be moving to a brand new house, but really do like this tent. You guys can see it's just right. I think this tent is 24 feet along, and our trailer is 22 feet, and it will be a pretty tight fit there, but before we move the trailer in, I do want to pick a few things up, and before we do that as well, I really want to add some more lights here to the driveway, just not enough. I want to put a few here on the corners and even a few on the walkway. We'll get going here on these lights, placing them there and probably around right there. And uh, really at night, I have noticed that there's just not enough light out front here. So I think we'll put one there and just kind of matching it on either side. I'm really excited to be back here with the Homeowner Series. This is a very fun series for me. It's very popular, and I just can't wait uh, for what's to come. And look at that, after about $1,500 worth of lights and wires, that is complete there. Really finishes it off, and we do have lights all the way around here. That way at night, uh, we could see, but up next, we are actually heading over to the store. We are going to be picking up hardwood uh, for our second floor and a hot tub uh, for the back pool area. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how it is down below. Uh, my day has so far been pretty good. And I really do appreciate all the support here over the last few months. It's been awesome here, but it's going to get even better with everything that I have planned. 
Now, we actually haven't been driving the F-250 too much over the last few weeks. We've been putting a lot of miles on that 7.3, and it's nice to be back here in this truck. And I've also been driving that Ranger Raptor, and that is nice as well. The F-250 Tremor, though, I think is the perfect vehicle here. Now, I think Ford is going to be revealing uh, the new refresh model of the Ford Raptor, so maybe we'll have to pick one of those up, make uh, an order for one. I just always uh, kind of like the off-road look, pickup trucks, but also do function and tow really well. So at our previous house, we had a hot tub, and I really kind of miss it on those colder nights just going in it uh, with the kids. And also, uh, that we really enjoyed the hardwood on the first floor, so I thought uh, picking it up and doing it to the uh, second floor would be a pretty nice thing. Going to raise the value here of the house and just doing projects around the house here, kind of getting ready to go uh, for when we sell this will be pretty awesome. We don't want to fold those ramps down, and we want to just do the tailgate there. And look, that we have all of the hardwood, that's quite a lot, and here is the hot tub. It's a very similar, I think almost the same one that we bought at the old house. Really did it, enjoy it, didn't have a problem with it, and why, why don't we get the same one again? So let's bring this over. Now we don't want to damage this car trailer, it's a pretty expensive one, uh, but we'll put that on there, and then this will go in the bed of the truck. We'll have to uh, get straps and all of these. This is quite a lot of weight here for the truck. I mean, this pallet of hardwood is very heavy. And let's see, I, all I want to do is really just move this. But I've really been enjoying all these videos. They've been a ton of fun lately. And you guys have been giving me some great ideas as well. Wow, this truck and trailer is pretty loaded down. And we'll just have to be careful as we head back to the house. Now this morning I did decide not to go to Cars and Coffee here. I really just wanted to get a head start on the projects and I think I will have a barbecue later today with a group of friends. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good summer. Let me know how it is down below. My summer's been awesome. I've been doing lots of things, hanging out with friends and uh, hopefully it just doesn't end. If you guys do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't already, I do recommend uh, man, you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day over there uh, some sneak peeks and cool updates about the channel. Now, we did have a load shift here on us. Not the best thing, uh, but it's not the uh, worst thing that can happen. It's always a little tricky uh, with a farm sim and what we're limited to, but we make uh, some pretty cool videos with it. Very tight fit right around the mailbox, but look at that backing up. That was a really good one there. Now, I really want to uh, get everything unloaded in. I actually put the trailer away and just kind of see how the trailer is over there. And I think why don't we take out the GT3 for a spin uh, to end today. I think that will be a pretty fun thing to do since we really didn't uh, drive any of the sport cars. But I will say having a nice, clean, detailed uh, fleet of vehicles is so awesome here. Don't have to worry about them and they're clean for the entire week here. Awesome, we'll just kind of carry this off here. I know it's a little unrealistic to carry it, but it's kind of the best we can do. Can't really see much. It's just so big, but we'll carry it right over into place. This was like the last piece of the puzzle here for the back patio as well. There wasn't really anything I wanted to do other than uh, maybe changing out this little area of brakes. But there we go, guys. The hot tub is in place, and wow, uh, that looks awesome there. Now, we just got to get it covered, have the plumber come and do a few other things, and that is pretty much it there. Let's see if we can get the hardwood off here, and I think we'll just put it right outside. We'll have to carry each bundle in little by little. It's just too heavy uh, to do uh, just by ourselves. And I think it would be good for us to put the tailgate up there, but I really want to see how the trailer is in the brand new trailer shed. I'm a big fan of these. I just don't like keeping things out in the weather, especially when they're in such good condition just like this. So I think maybe in a few weeks we will move over to the new house. A few of you guys have been uh, kind of recommending some maps and different things and I have it all picked out. I can't wait for it and your input is definitely going to be helping out as well. 
doing a really good job just nice and slowly backing it in and it, it is always tricky and hopefully we don't tear up the grass too much but we've come a long way with this house building it from scratch and buying the land to what it is now it looks awesome oh yeah uh, this trailer will be good now I think one of the neighbors asked us that if we uh, don't want this anymore that we'll uh, give it to them which is fine and we'll just uh, kind of leave them the uh, shed it's actually probably a little bit easier uh, than to take it but we'll just leave the f-250 here and take a look and wow that is perfect i think that's the perfect size even could fit a truck in here Awesome, so that's pretty much it here for the things. Let's hop here in the GT3. Really do miss driving this. Uh, this is by far my favorite car, one of my dream cars that I hope to own one day. Such a cool car. Now this one here is a 991.2 GT3 as well. So it's awesome. This is in the PDK, one of the best transmissions. And uh, this thing is in uh, awesome sapphire blue. We do want to be a little bit slow here leaving the street, but this is a ton of fun and it's just so hard to kind of uh, keep it under control here. It looks like temperatures, everything's good to go and we could have some fun. Let me know down below in the comments guys, what is your favorite vehicle we have here? We have so many cool ones and I will have to say the GT3 and that F250 Tremor is a top my favorite. Now there are some back roads coming up here, I think it's right here, yep. Uh, these are some awesome roads, one of my favorite ones to just go out and about here with the Porsche. This has a little bit of hills here and just, uh, it's pretty quiet as well. And I don't think really uh, much people go on this road here, but you guys can see so fun getting a little swirly back and forth, but overall doing a pretty good job at uh, keeping it under control. The GT3 is a ton of fun here and overall just a great uh, vehicle for us. And I think it's a perfect fit as well. And can you look at that? We are once again low here on gas. All of the vehicles we own uh, surprisingly uh, just take so much diesel and gas here. So let's go by the gas station. And I think that's where I will put down the camera and call it a day here. But it's been overall a pretty fun one here for us. Lots of little things. We did the lights. Uh, we did the Bronco. Uh, we picked up a few things for the house. And the hardwood will be going in this week as well. I can't wait for that. And I will definitely show you guys next week once that's done. Thanks for watching today's video and subscribe for more.